Hello, yes, Nigel Farage needs to take back control of UKIP. That's right, because if you don't miss the Farage, it's going to be finished off sooner rather than later. Like I've said many times before, and I'll say again, Theresa May Vincent Price, she has no intention of taking us of the European Union. Well, maybe in name and that's all, right? And before she can betray 17.4 million people, she has to finish off UKIP first because she knows that's where, well, when the rebellion starts and the revolution comes, that's where the support's going to. And I mean revolution at the ballot box, not the barricades. Take note, Nick Griffin. Uh, anyway, uh, she knows or they know, whoever, that's where the rebellion is going to and that's what's going to start the revolution to really change things in this country so she has to finish off ukip face with the behest of the security services hope not hey nick lowe's did a gable state line magazine you see mr farage we've already seen all the spectacles since you prematurely left ukip you should have waited you should have waited Till Brexit had been honoured and we went out, but you didn't. You jumped ship too, too soon, too quick. So we've already seen the spectacle of Stephen Wolf, Henry Bolton. Now we've got Jared Batten hobnobbing with Tommy Robinson. He's in the Tommy Robinson Roadshow. He's now a disciple of the cult of Tommy Robinson and so on and so on. And also umpteen Facebook pages, UKIP branch pages on Facebook are now all behind the Tommy Robinson Roadshow. And also pushing other silly nonsense, which I'll get to in a minute. So... You need to take back control because you can see what's happening. It's not all an accident. If you want to believe all that would have just mentioned is an accident. Stephen Wolf, Henry Bolton, Jared Batten and a lot, lot more is all an accident than be my guest because there's more to come. I was looking at the Liverpool UKIP Facebook page. Was it today or yesterday? I can't remember. I'm a busy man, you see. I, I, I forget things now. Um, and there was an article there about, or a video about the lady boys of Afghanistan, how these paedophiles in Afghanistan, these older men, um, watch these young kids, 10, 11, 12, uh, dressed as women, makeup on, having a little dance, and they pick which one out and have sex with them. Yeah, okay, you've posted that on the Liverpool UKIP Facebook page. What's that got to do with Liverpool and the issues people in Liverpool are facing here now? Well, it's got nothing to do with it, has it? Well, exactly. More and more of that's happening, you see. When you start talking about seedy, dirty topics like paedophiles, like the BMP spies were pushing that, hang pedo scum. There's not a, a worse word than that pedo, Christ. It's a, what happens, it becomes a mirror association and it bounces back on you. And that's why the, the enemy uh, are pushing that. That's why they get... The, uh, spies in the British nationalist movement to push that and the dafties believe it and follow it like Nick Griffin did until Clever Joe got on it because I'm in the wide awake club you see but anyway so Mr Farage you need to take control because the ruining and destroying UKIP as I speak and like I've said like I've said the purple revolution that you'd started right believe me if Theresa May Vincent Price does indeed sell us out that purple revolution would have swept there from power and probably would have changed the face of politics forever in our favour. But you jumped ship prematurely, didn't you? Right, you've got me, Joe Owens, a doorman, me books, and here's me having to tell you all what's happening and all your education, all your money, Nick Griffin as well. And it's been for nothing. You can't see what's happening under, you know, your own noses, all of you. But anyway, look, you've got me here. Right, you need to get back in control of UKIP. There's one or two other little developments which I'll remain silent on for the moment that's happening in UKIP. And the spies, you see, they're showing their face again because they have to. They're there to bring it down, disrupt it, courtesy of violence and silly statements and bongo bongo, all that nonsense, remember? Another coincidence and accident, yeah? They always say it round about election time as well, these people, don't they? Another coincidence and accident, you know? Sadly, Mr Farage, or maybe not sadly, maybe you were just a bit naive or wet behind the ears. I don't think, like I've said before and I'll say again, I don't think you've really grasped the forces out to destroy this country. 
See, Theresa May, she's not involved in any conspiracy where they ring her up, do your best, Theresa. It's a mindset now that they're all subscribed to. And they know what the mindset wants, whether or not it's Goldman Sachs, George Soros, or whoever. There's no conspiracy. But the mindset is like controlling them. It's, um, it's recruited them. It's brainwashed them. And they're all subscribers to it. And they know what the mindset wants. They know what the mindset wants. And we know what it wants. And to, it wants to remain in the European Union. This is very, very devilish how they pull this off. Because it's hard to combat, isn't it? But anyway, Nigel Farage, you need to get back in the seat again. Because if you don't, UKIP's going to be finished. And then she will betray 17.4 million people. And the purple revolution that could have swept her, swept her uh, from number 10 is going to be halted. It's going to be stopped, isn't it? Because nothing would have stopped that had you still been uh, at the helm. Trust me. I think she'd still try and sell us out. But you then could have rallied the great British public behind the purple revolution that would have changed and hopefully may still do. The face of politi politics in this country once and for all and in our favour as well. And like I've said before, from populism comes British nationalism. Okay, thank you.